So what's up guys, my name is Matt. If this is your first time here, welcome to Create, Rinse, Repeat. We talk about everything content creation, how to get better at making content, whether you're a beginning filmmaker, whether you're a starter on YouTube, or whether you've been doing this for years, we go over the things that really make a difference in your image. You can achieve $1,200 lighting with whatever lights you have lying around simply by book lighting. When people try to recreate natural lighting, this is the type of lighting that they're going for. That nice, soft, natural look where you can see all of the face, all of the detail. That's one of the biggest things. There's nothing that's lost to overexposed areas. This is right before sunset. It's called magic hour and it really is magic because the light is its softest and most natural at this time. So how do we recreate this look in a studio? Let's find out. So the question is, how do we get that Aperture 120D softbox style lights without spending a thousand dollars? Because there's just so many other things that you could put that money towards. That's where book lighting comes in. And book lighting is great because it is adaptable. You can use a variety of lights, which means that any lights you already have lying around, you can get to work with this technique. The even better news is that it will give you the same effect that that $1,200 Aperture 120D will, or that $1,200 Nanlite Forza. And the way to do it is pretty simple. Just take your light, instead of pointing it at your subject, turn it away from your subject, set up a piece of diffusion, and bounce that light off that piece of diffusion. That diffusion will cast that light in a much softer and more natural way onto your subject, added benefit of giving them the catch lights, and save you up to $1,200 that you can use for other things. So thank you for tuning in. If you found this helpful or entertaining, please feel free to hit subscribe, like, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. My name is Matt. I'll see you back here next time on Create, Rinse, Repeat.